welcome back. Today we're talking about fashion and in particular wardrobe staples. Basically with the idea of helping you to build your own wardrobe of classic staple pieces that you can wear with everything else in your wardrobe. Whether you want to be casual or more dressed up or whether you want to kind of pair different things together, hopefully it'll help you in some way. So I've gone through my wardrobe and I've picked out 12 pieces that I think are my staples for my wardrobe. So hopefully they can be the staples in your wardrobe too. However, because 12 items is quite a long video, I've decided to split this into two videos and have six items in this one and six items in the following video. So this video is gonna show the first six staple items and stay tuned in a couple of days for the next video that will show the next six staple items. I really hope you enjoy this type of video and let's get started. The first item is something that I talk about quite a lot and I've mentioned it in quite a few videos and I wear it very, very often. And for me, it's all about the white shirt. Depends what kind of style you want to go for. There are so many different types of white shirts in the market. Here are just a few examples. This is one from Paisley. It's got a drop hem at the back and it's got bat wing sleeves. Or I've got this gorgeous one recently from Hobbs that I actually need to wash. It's got makeup all around it. I mean, is it just me that struggles with that? Um, but this is the cutest little shirt. It's quite um, cropped as well. So it goes with so many different types of trousers. Oh, there's some I've bought in the, in the past. This is one from Topshop, quite a long length. A lovely silky material with a V neck and no collar. And I've also got one here from ASOS. It's actually inside out because I've just washed it. This is one from ASOS. It is sleeveless, with a little collar and a nice sort of length to it that can either be tucked in or tucked out, depending on how you want to style it. For me, white shirts go with everything. They can go with jeans, tucked in or out. They can go with trousers, either tapered or baggy style trousers. They can go with shorts for the summer, again tucked in or tucked out, they just look really really cool. Or you could wear them over really skinny fitted jeans or leggings, jeggings, that sort of thing and again it can look really sleek and really cute, especially if you wear the pair of heels as well. The second item on the list has to be black boots. I wear black boots with absolutely everything, whether it be skinny jeans, trousers, dresses, sort of long mini dresses or even midi dresses, shorts, they go with absolutely everything. So I've got a few different ones I can show you. These are a new pair from Suzanne Paris. Really cute, love a little heel on them, nothing too high. These are my Alexander Wang boots, so the cut out in the back and the gold, the rose gold hardware. I've got some little black boots from Next, super easy to wear again. As you can tell, the heel size on all of these are pretty much the same. I've got my brand new Chloe boots. I know they're very similar to the Alexander Wangs, but I love them anyway, with a bit of gold detailing. And I've also got a pair that are a little bit higher as well, and these were from Dorothy Perkins. And again, I've worn these to death. I love them. For me, boots are more comfortable to wear than shoes because they don't roll the back of my ankles. They're super comfortable to walk around in most days because the heel is quite a large block heel, so the weight is spread across your foot much easier. So it means it's much more comfortable throughout the day than wearing a stiletto, for example. The third piece for me has to be a black handbag. Again, black just happens to go with absolutely everything that you want to pair it with, but it's classic. It will often maintain itself throughout a much longer time period because it's not gonna get as worn and you're not gonna be able to see any scratches or dents or anything like that as easy as you could with a coloured bag. At the moment I have my new Fendi 3 Jules bag in black that I'm absolutely in love with and you may have also seen me use this Tory Burch bag in pretty much every single picture on my blog and a lot of the time in my vlogs and videos as well. But there are so many bags in the market, you do not have to buy designer bags to have a good bag. Zara do some of the best bags around, H&M also do some really cool bags and of course Topshop, there's Whistles, there's Reese. Um, Nicole Fahi do the most beautiful bags too. Getting yourself a black bag will go with your evening look as well as your casual daytime look and you can wear it with everything. The fourth item on the list has to be a white t-shirt. I think that a white t-shirt, again, can go with shorts, trousers, jeans and can be dressed up or down. I recently picked this one up from H&M, quite a low v-neck, sort of a wide v-neck with little pocket detailing and a really nice, almost textured white cotton fabric to add a little bit more detail to this. I found that I've just worn this so much because you can either make it casual or you can make it a little bit more classy with a pair of heels and a cute little bag. If you're after something a bit higher neck though, I also got this yesterday from Nicole Fahi. This has been cut on the bias, which means that the thread runs diagonally, just so it adds a bit more of a slimmer fit 
It's got some lovely little hemlines to it too and longer sleeves. For me, I would wear a t-shirt like this in summer with a pair of shorts or around this kind of time with a pair of really skinny jeans or trousers and then you can dress those up with a pair of nice court shoes for example, a little bag and a little maybe leather jacket or denim jacket thrown over the top and it'll look really really cute and very Parisian as well. So the fifth item on the list and the one you're probably waiting for is the camel coat. This is one that I picked up from Sandro that has a lovely sheepskin inside it, which is beautiful, which desperately needs a dry clean. Um, I've also got a lovely long trench. It's in a lovely camel colour. This is from Paisy. Got an incredible jacket from Pretty Little Thing that I wear to death. Again, it's kind of in more of a taupey camel shade. And also I have this gorgeous camel coat from Misguided. That I'm sure you've probably seen a few times. I'm just showing you these as examples, by the way, of different styles it could go for. However, the camel coat will go with most of your wardrobe. It'll go with white tees, it'll go with nice ripped jeans, it'll go with skinny jeans, black jeans, fitted trousers. Just one of those classic wardrobe staples that's been in everyone's wardrobe, I think, for years and years and years. It's always been about the camel coat, and I think it's really sort of come back again the past five years. People have been really obsessed with getting into that classic look, and I especially love it. So the camel coat has to be my number five. And my number six has to be the denim jacket. I have two here to show you. First of all, the Levi's denim jacket. This you can still pick up, I think, in stores. It's a very kind of traditional style one, but it's fantastic. But if you'd rather go for something a little bit cheaper and just as good, then I've got this from H&M that I bought a few years ago that has lasted me for years and is still fantastic. Surprisingly, even cheaper than that is a vintage Levi's denim jacket that I picked up from a vintage store. And this was about £20 because it had a little mark on it that I managed to get out with a bit of bleach. So, and I absolutely love this as well. This is more of an oversized fit. Denim jackets are that kind of cool piece in your wardrobe that, again, will really help to casual up an outfit. If you want to wear a particular dress but you want it to look a little bit more casual, throw on a denim jacket and it will really help to kind of bring everything together and not make it quite as elegant or sophisticated. If you wanted to wear a denim jacket with a pair of slim fitted navy trousers and some nude heels for example, throwing on a denim jacket again can make it look really cool and quite a classic style. For me the denim jacket is something that I often go to when I'm not too sure what other kind of jacket I want to wear but I want something that's quite cool, quite small and fitted and nothing too heavy. I'm hoping that's inspired you a little bit as to some new things you could pick up to kind of help you build more outfits in your wardrobe. But make sure that you stay tuned in a couple of days for part two. It's going to have another six staple items as well that will hopefully help even more. If you like this kind of fashion video, I mean I love making these fashion videos, so if you like them too, please do give me a like and subscribe if you're new. And in that case, I will see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah. Goodbye! Do one of them and then like we'll do like a transition when you just fade into the background. Goodbye! Spin around. <laughs>